Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful sunny morning here in Byron Bay. Let's make it a good day. I'm putting extra, extra sunscreen on Michael's back because he needs it. <laughs> it's a deep burn. Right now I'm packing up the beach bag because we're gonna obviously head to the beach first thing. I'm also gonna be bringing my water housing, which takes a little bit of time to assemble, so I think I'm gonna start doing that now. And we are off. Boards in the car. It's like a 15 minute drive to the pass from where we are in Suffolk Park. That's only because of the traffic, huh? Yeah, there's some pretty bad traffic in the morning, especially because it's just one lane yeah. to get there. And roundabouts. And there's a lot of roundabouts, but it's a beautiful drive. Really green, really pretty houses, so I don't really mind it too much. We'll see you guys at the beach. I met a strange lady, she made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. She said, do you come from a land down under? I just surfed and then Michael tried out the housing and then we switched and the current was so strong. I have so much respect for water photographers after trying it out because I was just trying to swim to the right spot to film Michael and it was so difficult. But the waves were fun and the water was really pretty. And now Michael's just hiding from the sun because he's so sunburned. Well, that was a super fun little beach day slash surf session. It's only 10.55 and we've already accomplished so much. We haven't eaten breakfast yet, so we're gonna get a Cybles and then go back to our Airbnb to change and then probably go check out the farm because I've been really wanting to see the sunflowers and the piggies and eat at their little cafe. So that's what we're gonna do. We are in downtown Byron Bay where there's tons of shops. They're really, really expensive. That's the reason we come here is to get food, whether it's at a cafe or a restaurant or like a smoothie or a side bowl. So that's where we're off to today. We have to get aloe for Michael. Yeah, we're, yeah. Yeah, we're on For his sunburnt self. Well, we are all freshly showered and dressed after hanging out at the beach. And we are going to the farm. Are you excited? I'm so excited. We're going to the farm to see the pigs and sunflowers and stuff. <laughs> Here we go. We made it to the farm. It's really beautiful. It's kind of breezy, which is nice because the sun is hot. <laughs> 
We're gonna go say hi to the horses. Horses. Over there. Michael, I found your people. Right there. Wink, wink. You guys don't smell that great. They really don't smell that great. Nice. So we're just strolling around and just said hi to the pigs and the horses and the chickens. And now we're gonna go check out that sunflower field right over there. We're just strolling amongst the veggies. There's all these tomatoes right here. It smells amazing. And over here, the sunflowers look kind of dead. But there's a nice patch over there for some good photos. It'd be the only alive sunflower in this whole place. Hey, soul sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio? Stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know. Hey, soul sister. Some lunchies. This is a Reuben sandwich and this is a vegetarian focaccia. 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 And I got this yummy lemon fizzy drink. And Michael got an iced coffee. And we're in the shade, which is Huge. the most important part of this whole thing. Cheers, Michael. Cheers. You guys, we fell asleep for like two hours after we came back from the farm. It's probably a combination of that massive lunch that we had, plus being in the sun all morning kind of just made me so tired. But I feel a little Batteries disoriented. Charged. Batteries a little bit charged, but I need to wake up a bit. So we're going to go for a little bike ride around the neighborhood because... Suffolk Park is really cute and lush and green yeah. and there's a little lake right down the hill so we're just gonna go get our blood pump in a bit before we continue on with our day. nice and sweaty because our house is up on a hill so we have to push these two bikes all the way up it oh that was nice we biked over to the beach checked it out came back and I kind of want to go for a swim because I am so sweaty so we're thinking about going to water ghost to swim and hang out see the sunset so I'm going to change out of this into a bikini, drink some water. We are off to the beach once more. Super rough day we're having over here. Just going to go for a little sunset dip at Wadi Turn Ghost. left onto Beach Drive. Totally forgot to vlog, but we just did a nice 
chilly sunset swim at Wadigos and took some photos and walked over closer to the lighthouse. So we are walking along the beach and as usual we saw a bunch of jellies on the sand. Crazy. Sun setting. Now we're thinking about getting some dinner at Revolving Sushi. Oh, sushi. At oh, sushi. So I'm gonna change out of my wet bikini and try to get nice and warm and dry so that we can go to dinner. Guess what, guys? Train sushi, that's what's up. It's like finding your luggage at an airport. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plates? That's not too bad, actually. We're back at our Airbnb. We had a pretty good day. Um, I'm gonna shower and get ready for bed because it's gonna be another fun day exploring tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching.